we've got over 20 million refugees worldwide that fall under the UNHCR mandate. Approximately 50% of them are children. And while Ukraine occupies a lot of the spotlight at this moment, we have, we have what's called protracted conflicts. So in Afghanistan, in Myanmar, Bangladesh, in South Sudan, where people have been protractedly displaced for upwards of 10, 15 years. So th there's nothing linear about the refugee crisis. There has to be incredible challenges economically to support what these refugee communities need of all ages. How do you inform those that give how do you help host countries understand the economics so that the money can be spent effectively with sustainability in mind? What we've seen in emergency and humanitarian response over the past several decades is that we have been forced to shift from thinking about emergencies as a temporary status to a situation where the presumption is that people are going to stay in situations of displacement and they're going to move through a continuum of a humanitarian response into a development response. And what that means is that they have to become part of a long-term, as you said, sustainable solution in the countries that are hosting them.